Galen's Journey, Part 1, by Coyote 7. It's just you and me now, Mary, whispered Galen to the old mare as she gently stroked her head. With Mama and Papa now gone, you're all the family I have left. Once her father's war horse, Mary's brilliant white coat shone in the starlight as if she were the mount of the light itself, bringing a sense of awe to friend and foe alike as she bore her rider throughout the battlefields. But twenty-three years have passed, and the horse's pure white coat was now speckled with gray from her age. Her youthful stride and vigor replaced with a much slower pace to conserve the energy in her aging body. The horse had been part of Kaylin's life and her best friend since birth. When around the girl, this beast of power and war was as gentle as a kitten and just as loving, loyal and protective as the family dog. I talked to Master Kelman this morning. Papa told me some time ago that he wanted to buy our land, and he had offered a more than fair price, but Papa wasn't interested in selling at the time. The horse turned an ear towards Kaylin and looked up at her face, as if the old mare was intent on listening carefully to the words that were to follow. I sold in the farm, Mary. It's just not home anymore. And Papa was right. His offer was more than generous. We've got enough money not to worry about things for quite a while. As Mary bobbed her head slightly, giving a soft snort, Kaylin continued, I figured we'd head for Stoneport. I'm going to gather and pack some things today, and we'll leave at first light tomorrow. You get some rest, old girl. We have a long road ahead of us. Turning to leave, Kaylin looked over her shoulder and said to her old friend, I think a change of scenery and a little adventure will do us both good. Lines of all.